Hey guys, whoops, cutting off my head. <laughs> um, sit down and talk to you. Anyways, I'm gonna work on a, 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 a liquid painting, and um, I just did one that I thought was pretty cool. So I thought I would make it a little bit bigger. And there's some leftover, uh, leftover painting on there, and it's got a little bit of texture on it. But I don't know if the texture will show through. It could, and it's I really if it does. I'm, I'm cool with it. But I'm gonna use some of the same colors as other painting because I. I liked it. <laughs> so, anyways, um, I'm gonna pull you down. That's a 16 by 16 by 20 painting. Whoops. Sorry. Whoa. Okay, guys. I hope that these cups will be enough because it's not. Um, ah! I just put paint on my forehead again. Dang it. <laughs> Sorry. Ugh. I do that lately all the time. Okay, I'm hoping this is going to be enough because I have kind of a plan in the middle. I'm going to put a bunch of some white and a little bit of black in the bottom. So we're going to see what's going to happen. Okay, so let's. So this one's been used with yellows and that. And that's one of the colors I'm going to be using is yellow and red. And, um, let's take this lid off, put a bunch in there. I think I'll fill half of this with yellow. And red. A little more yellow. Okay. So now... I want to add a little bit of black to this. I'm also going to add some onto the painting. So, okay, so that cup's ready. If I leave it sitting right in the middle of this, I'll probably have um, tipped over. <laughs> okay, um, so this one, I used um, this other painting that I like so much. I used blue, teal, and white. So I'm going to use some blue... Let's take this lid off so I can squish a lot in there. Okay. Um, get some white. Mm, more blue. And teal. Is this going to squeeze out nice? And a uh, little white, what the heck. Okay, so now we got my two cups ready. And we're going to take this and let's see. Yeah, we'll do it across this way. Um, okay, I'm going to put some white. A lot. I want to put... Now, I was kind of thinking, I'm going to put, I, I'm hoping it doesn't get too dark, but um, hopefully there's enough black left in there. Let's see. All right. I'm just going to give it a little squirt of silicone. And... Guys, keep your fingers crossed for me. <laughs> All right, so I think I'm just going to run this down here. I'm going to run it over the edge a little bit since it's over here. easier to do it now than when it's done because then you don't want to touch where you're at. You know, okay. 
explain why I chose to do that. You'll see this last picture I did. I kind of I did some white in the middle, and I I kind of liked it the way it ended up. So here we go. So now I want to get these paints out of the way because it's a big one. I don't want to bump too much. Okay, so um. I don't know why I feel the urge to t tilt it just a little bit when I'm going to do that. Oh, that's the wrong one. Well, I guess that's meant to be like that. Ah, I remember the blacks in this because I wanted to do that down there. Dog, on it. Oh, well, here we go. <laughs> oh, I'll have to try that one again. Doing it the way I like it. All right, I'm just going to run some of this over in here. Don't go over the edge because I only have a little bit. See, that's where the bumps are all at. Okay. <laughs> so interesting. It's totally opposite what I was planning on doing. Okay. I kind of wanted um, the blue part to look like a sky, but that's why I was doing it the way I was doing it, but Now remember, if there's something you really like, don't pour it off. There's nothing I'm real crazy over with at this moment, so I'm not real worried about anything. Now I'm going to... Just want to work on the... So now, now what do we, oh, there's a little spot over there I want to get. There. Now just get a little bit better. I had a total different plan in mind. Of course, that's why you got to be able to change your mind on these kind of paintings, because they, <laughs> if you put the cups in the wrong spot, that's another story. But... So what I'm doing right now is I'm just trying to figure out the composition that I'm going to end up leaving this out because I'm pretty much kind of done, but I'm just now moving it to the final places where I'm going to. And there is a, it's a piece of paint stuck on the canvas right there. Oh well. Um, Now, I suspect I'm going to take a torch just to that part right there. And hopefully, we can pop up some colored bubbles underneath there. And I'm not sure because that, again, if the paint's real thick, it doesn't change too much, even with the torch. So. That was thinner wood pop.
that was center. But you know what, you guys? Can, I kind of like this. I mean, I, I like it. I'm going to it's a keeper for sure. And if somehow some more of these bubbles pop open, I'll definitely post that. But I really get a feeling it's not going to. I think this is how it's going to be. I don't know what it reminds you of. Kind of me, I always think when I see reds and the blues and that, it's like lava hitting the ocean and all the little bubbles that comes up from it. That's what I think. So, anyways, guys, I really, really appreciate you for stopping by. Thank you.